Well, good day, everyone. We're back in the shed. I'm Mark, and uh, this is just a little quick update about what's going on. I'll just bring myself up here. Uh, you may notice some uh, wet spots around the place. We had a fair bit of rain last week, enough rain to actually, um, we had water come in the shed. Uh, we just had that much, it had nowhere to go. So a little bit of flooding, everything's all right. Most of stuff's up off the ground anyway, and nothing's, uh, nothing's got damaged in any way. May get a little bit of surface rust on some of the steel or something like that, but yeah, it's all good. Anyway, um, something to show you. We'll flip over to the steamroller now and uh, currently getting these made. Now, these are washout plugs. They screw into the boiler in different places, uh, one on the back head, two on either side and one in the front. So that's only four. Uh, there's probably one I'm missing. And these facilitate uh, washing out of the boiler, exactly what they, they're called. And because when you constantly steam a boiler, they're like your kettle, they get calcium lime scale buildup. Uh, this boiler, when we started working on it, uh, suffered uh, pretty badly. I don't think it was washed out properly. Anyway, uh, we've got rid of a lot of that during the uh, process, during the restoration process and taking out the old tubes and things like that. So these uh, are being machined by a club member. They were cast by uh, Dan down in Melbourne, who's got the sister engine to this one, uh, both Fowler T3B steamrollers. So these are, this is a... Sorry, folks, there's a noisy V8 going by. These are another thing that I'm ticking off the list of things that needed to be done and slowly but surely we're working our way to uh, getting this thing back on the road. Right, we'll go over to the bench now and just give you a look there. We're looking straight down. I'm still working on the um, shafts for the planetary gears. These, uh, This is the new one here, or we've got two new ones. Uh, the planetary gears, I've uh, pushed out the old bushes. Here they are here. They're pretty thin. Uh, they sat in there. We've got new bronze here ready to go. That needs to be machined up uh, to match these with a little, little bit of clearance on the new shaft. We're also going to drill a hole down the back, or in this end anyway, um, and because the planetary gears sit roughly about there. Uh, and this hole, and then I'll drill one from here, uh, roughly, uh, allow it to try and get some extra lubrication in. The old ones just had a flat ground on them. Now, that may have worked, it may not have, but we're going to maybe improve on the process. The last thing we need to do on the, um, on the new shafts uh, is this square here. And... Uh, these go on here and help lock it in place. So we'll need to uh, do that as well. That won't be done tonight. That'll be done in another video. And that's where we're at. So if you haven't joined us for a live stream, I do a live stream on a Thursday night now. It used to be Tuesdays, but um, Tuesdays was uh, just a bit rushed. So Thursday night it is, 7.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. You can join me. Sometimes I have a guest on as well. Um, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is I've had some... Um, um, the uh, levers that go on top of here for the cylinder drains that activate them. These, they were cast at the Trades Guild by Emma. Uh, MS Small Room uh, Machine Shop. I'll put a link to uh, her channel. Um, thank you very much, Emma, for casting those um, those levers. Um, they'll need a bit of a clean up on the linish. Take you know, typical casting sort of situation, and and we'll get those uh, done in due course. But thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, just a short one, like I said, and hope to see you all Thursday night. Oop. Hit the wrong button.
whistle.